from this sort of uh, synthetical <laughs> uh, speech, I want to make two, two, two more points. One is a proposal to all of you. I've been collecting, as a historian, lots of uh, documents and materials from uh, prisoners' movements in all over Europe, except, uh, I have to say, the, the, the Spain, Portugal, and Greece, because of the particular situation there. And I could uh, yeah, write a research, a book, whatever. But I don't want to do that, because this is a collective work we all should do in order to get back this tradition. So I think this is one of the places, or this is the place, if you want, where we can form a group, work <coughs> on the documents and interviews and things I've been collecting, putting them together with other materials and documents we all have, and trying to, to get the idea of our research, which is uh, a sort of con research, a research you, you do in order to change your, your own idea of what's going on. A research which empowers ourselves. It's not just the historical research that you put in a book and then on a shelf, but you, you use that also to understand where we all come, come from if we are to talk about uh, abolitionism and, uh, and prisoners' movement, etc. Because that's completely uh, raised to, for all of us the question of why uh, there are no such a movement in, in, the, in this time, notwithstanding the, the terrible conditions in the, in, all, in the prisons in all our countries, but also it gives you the idea of how, how important it is to give not just a theoretical solidarity, but an active solidarity to all the movements which are actually there, like in, for the example of Greece, which was made by the, uh, in, in previous discussion. One last point, I think I'm with the time. Oh, okay. I didn't notice that. Uh, and, and this is a bit, uh, if you want, biographical, but I think it's an important point to, to here. I happen to, to, to live now in uh, Amersfoort, which is a city in, uh, in the Netherlands. And I had, uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't know that, but I, I, I noticed, I realized how terrible it is to live literally five minutes by bicycle from a concentration camp, from a Nazi concentra concentration camp which was set there. For, for a person like, uh, like me, who is a part of a, of a family where two people were sent into concentration camps during the Second World War, and other two people were, were put into prisons and political confinement because of their anti-fascist activity, to live five minutes by bike from a concentration camp, and that sort of concentration camps, if there are good and bad concentration camps, which, which is not uh, the case, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's terrible. But that concentration camps, Camp Palmersport, is also the concentration camps where Luke Usman and uh, also Hernan Bianchi, as far as I learned from Veronica yesterday night, they, they were also interned there, together as uh, 35,000 prisoners from August 1941 to April 1945. Now, these facts bring us to another point which is very important for history and another point which is very important for now. The one which is important for history is the link between Pina abolitionism and that tradition which was then brought in contact with the prisoners' movement in the 60s. And that tradition is the heritage of the Second World mm -hmm. War and the heritage of the opposition to concentration camp. And this is not just important in penal abolitionism, but for instance in, in psychiatric abolitionism. All the movement, Basaglia and other people, were also brought into camps or into prison during the Second World War. But the other thing is that we have to look at the concentration camps we have now in this world. 
And of course we can think of some prisons or of the prison system itself if you want to stress that, but we have to look at the detention centers for immigrants, which is an unbelievable network. And if you see how the concentration camps in Germany and in the other country were set, the starting point was the asociale of, or the, the, the aso, asocial, antisocials. That was the starting point where the, the other people, the communists, the anarchists, and of course the Jewish people, the Roma population, they were using those kind of structures. Now, this is a, a, a part of the struggle of any abolitionist, and I would say of every citizen in this world, whatever you are, abolitionist, right wing, <laughs> in order to, uh, to, to say never again to that kind of, of, of past and to link once again the, the memory of the past into the actual reality and actual struggle against every social and political injustice.